Have you ever looked in the mirror and felt not quite good enough? Maybe you've compared yourself to others and felt like you're falling short. We've all been there. And today we're going to quickly look at a few things that are really important. Low self-esteem, envy, and selfishness. But don't worry, we're not just going to talk about the problem. We're going to focus on a powerful solution, prayer. So let's get to it. And Start your day with power, purpose, and divine connection. This morning prayer routine for women isn't just another set of words to recite. It's a transformative experience that can reshape your entire day, week, and life. But what makes this prayer so special? Why are thousands of women reporting increased peace, clarity, and success after adopting this practice? The secret lies in its carefully crafted structure, tapping into ancient wisdom and modern neuroscience to create a truly potent spiritual tool. As we dive into the prayer, you'll discover the hidden elements that make it so effective. Are you ready to unlock the full potential of your mornings and experience a profound shift in your daily life? Let's begin this journey together. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Today, we lift our hearts to you in a prayer against low self-esteem. You have created us in your image, unique and worthy of love and respect. We ask you to help us recognize our value and the beauty you have planted within us. Guide us away from the shadows of doubt and insecurity that cloud our minds. Teach us to see ourselves as you see us, precious and endowed with purpose. This prayer for low self-esteem is a plea for your strength to overcome the voices of negativity that whisper lies of inadequacy. We also pray for freedom from the chains of envy. Help us to appreciate the blessings in our lives and rejoice in the success of others. Replace our envy with inspiration and lead us to celebrate the abundance you provide to all your children. Furthermore, we seek your guidance in relinquishing selfishness. Cultivate in us a generous spirit that delights in giving more than receiving. Let our actions reflect your generosity and love, fostering a life of service and compassion towards others. Heal our hearts from low self-esteem, envy, and selfishness. Fill us with your divine love and confidence, so we may walk in the assurance of who we are in you. May our lives radiate your grace and truth as we grow in self-esteem and love for others. Amen. Low self-esteem really is that nagging feeling that you're not worthy or valuable. It's that voice in your head that tells you you're not good enough. But here's the thing, that voice, it's lying to you. You are worthy, you are valuable, and you are enough. And that's exactly what this prayer was about today. Now, let's break down this prayer quickly and how it can help us. The prayer starts by reminding us that we are all created in the image and likeness of God. This means we all have inherent worth and value. It's not about what you do or what you achieve or who you are and even who you are externally, but who you are at your core. Next, the prayer asks for help. In the prayer, we ask for help in recognizing our own value. This is so important because often, so often, we are our own harshest critics. We need to learn to see ourselves through God's eyes, source's eyes, not the eyes of our critics or our own self-criticism. The prayer also addresses the shadows of doubt and security that we all face. These are the negative thoughts that we feed ourselves on, and that helps to lower our self-esteem. But by asking for guidance away from these thoughts, we're taking a big step towards healing. An interesting part of the prayer that you might not have seen coming is the part about envy. Envy and low self-esteem go hand in hand. When we constantly compare ourselves to others, we're setting up ourselves for failure, to feel inadequate. The prayer asks for help 
by saying, let me appreciate my own blessings and celebrate other successes. This shift in perspective, it can be incredibly powerful for boosting self-esteem. The prayer also touches on selfishness, which might seem even more unrelated to self-esteem at first. But think about it. When we are focused solely on ourselves, we often become more critical and more negative. By asking for a generous spirit, we're opening up ourselves to positive experiences and connections. As we close, let's talk about how we can incorporate this prayer into our daily lives. Even by repeating it daily, we can overcome low self-esteem. And it is a journey, remember, not a destination. You're going to have good days and you're going to have bad days. And that's okay. The important thing is to keep moving forward, one prayer at a time, one affirmation at a time. And if you're struggling with severe low self-esteem, do not hesitate to seek professional help. My personal story, one that many of you don't know, and I have a personal story with low self-esteem. And that was long ago, but quickly, up until my late 40s, I suffered from low self-esteem. I was really struggling. I felt like I wasn't measuring up, no matter how high power the job or low powered it was. And then I started incorporating more spirituality into my life, more prayer into my daily routine. I did, as the Bible said, pray unceasingly. And much like the one that I share today, I also read a lot of self-help books and did a lot of self-improvement courses and attended lectures. It didn't happen overnight, but slowly and surely, I started to see myself differently. I began to recognize my own value and self-worth. You know, my self-esteem improved and so did all my relationships, especially the one with myself. So remember, you are worthy of love and respect simply because you exist. You don't have to prove yourself or that to anyone. God, source, life loves you just as you are right now in this moment. And so I hope this video has been helpful and encouraging to you. And if it resonated with you, please give it a like and share it with someone who might need to hear this message. And don't forget to follow and subscribe for more content like this. My name is Claudette, as I said, I'm a trained chaplain, and I hope that this prayer will help you in your journey of self-esteem. Thanks for watching, and remember, you are valued, you are loved, and more than anything else, you are enough. Have a good day.